Welcome down, everybody. Since there's an election going on uh, over in Britain today, I'm gonna get all political on you guys tonight. Sorry about that. D turned around and stared right into the bloody visage of an undead man, grinning from one of the countless movie posters that hang on the walls of the building he was in. He stumbled through a hall full of further bloody pictures of severed fingers marking the countless sequels to our horror franchise. The face of some distant friend or family member appeared on the phone in his hand, and once again, he could not help but question reality. seemed to be stationed throughout the venue. But where on earth was the exit? Dee reached a staircase and decided to go downstairs, hoping that he wouldn't end up in a cellar, but rather somewhere closer to even ground, wherever that might be. It was hard to tell, since whenever Dee looked, there were no windows in sight, only further gruesome pictures of violent B-movies and exploitation flicks. He ended up in a dimly lit room, filled with huddled figures with big cigars. Dee quickly noticed that this was a dead end. But before he could turn around and retreat back up the stairs, one of the men jumped up from the table and punched him in the face with full force. A million bright stars exploded before his eyes as he collapsed. Then everything around him turned black. When he regained consciousness, he found himself in the uncomfortable hard seat of yet another bus. For how long was I out? How did I get here? He wondered. But before he could come up with a logical answer, a voice from the speaker beside him exclaimed, Coming up, Washington DC. This is our final destination. Dee turned to the window to his left and stared at a huge parking structure the bus was pulling into. He stumbled outside with the other passengers and after a few moments of indecision decided to head over to the elevators. He ended up in the gleaming white halls of Union Station. And when he passed through the entrance doors, he could see the dome of the Capitol building before him, obscured by the trees of a nearby park that was filled with people in rags that had apparently spent the night beneath the trees. He hasted towards the majestic building and sat down in its shadow, 
where he took off his backpack and got out a bottle of water. Then he approached the building, intent on climbing its steps. But before he could reach them, he was approached by a man in uniform who yelled, Is that your backpack over there? and the man went on. You can't leave bags lying around. We don't like that. We think it's strange. Dee apologized and retreated back across the lawn where he sat down behind a tree. Off his jacket in order to get out his little black book. But instead, he found a small, crinkly joint. After making sure that he was obscured from sight by the tree he was leaning on, he thought, Ah, to hell with it. Soon it's going to be legal here, anyways. Got out his lighter. Yeah. And in this case, it's true. 
since the creatures in this building that chose this majestic beast as their mascot once infected the planet with yeast. Once again, 